Safari Beach Club, Bell Boulevard, Bayside Queen, wedding band of aging collection of balding, beefy, middle-aged rock and rollers, including the 50-year-old girl singer, struggle through their renditions of contemporary top 40 hits. Farrell's Happy, Bruno Mars, Uptown Funk, Megan Trainor, All About the Bass. Lead guitarist with the totally undetectable comb-over announces, and now... Who's really into Adam Levine here? Old white-haired ladies at ringside table are oblivious, absorbed in their third absolute and seven up. Band breaks into the first few recognizable bars of Maroon 5, moves like Jagger. And I've seen the video, Adam Levine only wishes he had the moves like Jagger. Big Mike's got the moves like Jagger and shows them off solo to the attendant geriatrics onlookers jumping about the completely empty dance floor, wiggling genitalia in the stunned faces of the besotted Empress Dowagers in the front row. Afterwards, exhausted and gasping, panting, sitting on a bar stool, middle-aged matron approaches. Haven't I seen you before dancing at Peggy O'Neill's out in Coney Island? Yes, you have! Once the weather warms up, starting from uh, Memorial Day weekend, I'm out at Coney Island dancing and moving like Jagger every Saturday. I just love Peggy O'Neill's. I just love Coney Island. And I just love watching you dance all the time. I suppose I've achieved minor celebrity status, recognized across three city boroughs. Previous Saturday, walking through Penn Station on my way to the Long Island Railroad to Bayside, an MTA officially sanctioned street singer performs his rendition of Farrell's Happy as part of Music Underground program, accompanied by a crazy, drunken, filthy, homeless bum writhing about on the hard, unforgiving stone floor of the station, some pathetic attempt at a breakdancing imitation act. An equally inebriated, gray-haired, middle-aged Puerto Rican man in a royal blue Mets cap and matching t-shirt starts signaling me from the periphery of the crowd of curious suburban commuters. I believe he's pointing out the identical twin teen Japanese hotties crossing directly in front of me. Yeah, 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 man, they both got a, a great set of tits. Yeah, I see, on the two of them. Yeah, both of them. I gesture wordlessly at my new found Latino buddy. No, no, man, no! Get up there on the dance floor! Show them how it's done, dude! Suddenly I realized this guy ain't any old run of the mill demented alcoholic, but none other than Spanish Barfly Man from Peggy O'Neill's out in Coney Island, my biggest fan. He jogs across the floor and gives me a hearty fist bump. Yo, man, get out there onto this dance floor and show them squares how it's done! Unfortunately, but there's a train to catch. Previously Thanksgiving, inadvertently stumble into an EDM, electronic dance music rave, at Webster Hall. I'm surrounded by a Genghis Khan's Mongol horde of 17-year-old drug addicts with fake IDs, roll on E, Molly, ecstasy, little girl butts hanging out of their bottoms of their white booty shorts, and tiny teen tits popping out of the tops of lycra spandex black bando tube tops. Rows of rainbow candy necklaces and soft red rubber pacifiers dangling between their dainty little cleavages. Main dance floor is temporarily clear of Miley Cyrus wannabes. A walk out onto the empty ballroom. The DJ recognizes me and blasts Nirvana, come as you are, over the club sound system. I got the entire place to myself. I start flinging myself all over the dance floor. Kurt Cobain screams, and I don't have a gun. And I'm joined by twin teen meat thugs, huge jocks, who engage me in a lively session of chesty as we simultaneously spring off the dance floor and slam our tumescent man tits into one another's <laughs> breasts. Now these lunkhead frat boys, this horseplay may appear to be some archetypal form of male bonding ritual, but to Big Mike, it reeks suspiciously of the musty odor of latent homoeroticism. <laughs> Do these football players actually realize just how G-A-Y gay this whole scene comes off? Now, Big Mike has absolutely no problem with this. None whatsoever. These lads are so very young, dumb, and full of cum. And that's just the way Big Mike likes them. <laughs> Suddenly, the larger of these two muscular striplings breaks off our male tit play mid sweaty thwap. Hey, you're the guy from Cody Island, ain't ya? Minor celebrity status achieved. Back at the Safari Beach Club, Bell Boulevard, Bayside, Queens, wedding band's lead guitar announcer 
We want to play some real old-time rock and roll tunes for y'all, but we need Big Mike up here dancing for us. Come on, Big Mike. Proud Mary by Ike and Tina Turner. A command performance, no less. Back at Cha Cha's Bar, Rockabilly Coney Island Boardwalk Fest, dancing to the King Elvis Presley's Little Sister with my ex Puma, Betty Page, lookalike girl singer with the stand up bass swing band yells, Hey, you! No, no, you! You! With the long hair! If you don't dance to our next song, I'm giving up showbiz. Band breaks into the first few bars of Eddie Cochran's Summertime Blues. Peggy Sue leads from the stage wearing her pink low-cut mohair sweater and poodle skirt, shoves my dance partner Puma aside and grabs the back of my head, slams my face inside the creamy white expanse of cleavage between her ample bosoms. Success! Success! <laughs> Success!